hi guys and welcome back again to my channel my name is adi and i am a third year medical student currently studying in philippines so in today's video i will be discussing about nmat all you need to know regarding the nmat examination so if you are an intending medical student or if you're a future medical student intending to study medicine in philippines make sure to watch this video or if you know someone who will be writing nmat exam please do well to share this video with them because this video is going to be very informative and without wasting much time let's head right into the video <music> NMAT stands for National Medical Admission Test. It's actually an examination that is given for all students or all intending students who wish to study medicine here in the Philippines. It's a must, it's a requirement for all medical schools here in the Philippines. So this examination is actually taken twice every year, usually in March and October of every year. And it's also important to note that some schools will require you to write this examination before you can be given admission to your school of choice however there are also just very few schools that will actually um, admit you into medicine however you're also expected to pass the nmat examination so overall you must need to pass this examination we are actually among the first batch of people who write the exam it used to be um, physically it used to be given physically before but since covid happened in march of 2020 the exam has been online all this while actually i wrote nmat exam physically and also online um, the reason why i wrote it physically is because my school was able to give me um, admission without my nmat result at the time however i signed the document um, stating that i'm i'm going to pass the exam so that was why i didn't write the exam before admission um, towards March I was supposed to write the exam but because of COVID the exam was postponed so um, we're actually among the first batch that wrote NMAT online so I'm actually going to be giving you guys the tips and all the things I did for that exam and the things that worked for me hopefully you're going to find it helpful sorry in case you see me looking down i actually made a note so i'm just going to be you know taking points from my note so i'm not going to be giving details um, of how it was physically during the first time i wrote it because i'm um, currently right now is also still online so i'm just going to be giving details regarding the online aspect it's actually a four hours exam it has two parts part one and part two so part one of the exam actually tests your mental ability whereas part two to test your academic proficiency for part one of the exam it has um, four sections the verbal reasoning inductive reasoning quantitative reasoning and also um, perceptual acuity and then coming to the part two it has biology physics and social science as well as chemistry and then on the social science is actually um, a mixture of three sub-specialties such as psychology sociology as well as anthropology so that's the breakdown part one and part two so in total in the number of questions that are usually given is 240 questions and they are actually mcq questions so mcq basically means multiple choice questions and where you get to select like one answer in about four or five options i'm also going to be giving you guys the details of the amount of time required for each of this section once you start your examination the important reminders and certifying statements it takes about 12 minutes for part one which has 120 questions you're expected to answer it in two hours 15 minutes then after part one you're given a test break of about 10 minutes then you head over to write the part two of the exam also the part two of the exam um, contains 120 items um, however for the time limit for this section two is one hour 30 minutes and then at the end of the test you have about one minute to you know submit however you can actually um, finish your examination before time so you actually have enough time to also submit 
coming to the registration aspect you're actually going to be using an email obviously you should have an email address and then you go to the website so i'm going to be posting the link on the screen so once you head over to the website you're going to see um, an aspect where it says register so you you should have i believe you already have an email address so you register and also create an account and however for right now you have to create the accounts when um during the next um, registration process okay so when you create your account you also need to fill in your details properly make sure that you fill in your name and also your address make sure that the address you fill in during your registration is very accurate because that's where your test report is going to be sent to and then you also need um, an e-copy of your digital photograph um, the recommended size is two by two inches the passport is also expected to be taken within six months it should be clear it should also show your face and um, your shoulders then coming to the payment the payment for nmat is 1900 peso on their website they actually broke down what the 1900 peso is for the registration fee is 500 peso and then the test the actually test fee is 1400 peso so it's a total of 1900 peso for international applicants it's actually 60 us dollars registration fee is 45 us dollars whereas the test fee is 15 us dollars making it 60 us dollars so during my own time because i am here in the philippines i actually went to a bank bdo um, to pay but because it's online right now there is also an option for students who are actually currently not in the philippines so after you complete your registration it's going to redirect you to a payment site called dragon pay so that's where you're going to pay with your credit card just the same way you pay with your credit card so you just pay um, with your credit card so once you complete your registration process you're actually going to get an email from nmat i think it's almost immediately but if it's not immediately maybe um that day or the next day i can't really remember but you're definitely going to get an email from nmat telling you the next steps to do and how to prepare for the exam but just because you're watching this video i'm just going to give you all the details you need to prepare for your online examination the online examination is compatible with laptops i think from windows 7 upward they are also going to send you a link where you're going to check if your system is compatible with the application software the software that is used for nmat examination is mettl secure browser it's called msb so nmat is actually going to send you a link um, where you get to check if your computer is you know compatible with msb if your computer is compatible with ms msb once you click that link it's going to let you know and if it's not compatible it's also going to let you know but i think it's from windows 7 upwards so if you have a laptop that is from windows 7 upwards you don't have to worry definitely it's going to be compatible but of course like i mentioned earlier before because you're watching this video i'm going to be posting all these links in my description box so you, have, you can actually test ahead of time if your system is compatible with um, the nmat uh, application software okay next you're going to download and install the browser like i mentioned earlier check the description box i also posted a link where you can also download and install the msb in your laptop contained in the email they're going to send you a demo um, link like a demo where you, can, you actually get to practice um how to you know use the msb however i wanted to send you guys the link but i i checked when i checked the link for the one i used during my own time it was no longer available so but don't not to worry once you register they are also going to send you a demo link where you also get to check you know to see how things work on msb browser also before the examination i think one week before the exam they are going to also send you an actual test link for the exam that's that's they're going to tell you the day you're going to write up front and they are also going to send you a link it's also important that you check your emails as frequently as possible so you don't miss any important information from nmat i know you may be wondering how the msb is it's actually an online proctored um, platform so you have a proctor or like more like an invigilator who watches you while you take the exam so you should also make sure that 
you where you're going to write the exam is quiet and serene without noise and distraction so let's say you live in an apartment with your family you can actually tell them up front that you'll be writing at your your nmat exam on a specific date so they can actually make um, provision for you like you, you really need to stay in a quiet place because the proctor can actually detect noise or detect sound in your environment or noise so you don't want that you don't want anything to interfere with your exam make sure that you're in a quiet and you know a serene environment for your scratch work these are the recommended items listed by nmat it includes digital scratch pad for your scratch work actually the test the examination platform provides this you also have a mini whiteboard and a whiteboard marker you also have plastic or paper magic slate clear acetate and plastic cover with whiteboard marker or chalkboard with chalk and eraser personally for me during my own time what i used was a mini um, board and a marker with you know the duster or the eraser that was what i used for my scratch work on the day of the exam also make sure you have your identity card i used my international passport but if you have any id card or any identity card i believe that can also work but make sure it's actually a recent identity card you may also be wondering like what kind of clothes should i wear for the exam am i supposed to dress like this or dress like that i just feel you should wear something comfortable and decent and presentable just put on something comfortable decent and presentable and um also make sure that you don't start your exam on an empty tummy that was the mistake i made guys i literally i think i didn't have my breakfast that morning and throughout the exam i was literally so hungry so make sure you at least have a light breakfast um, maybe tea or bread or toast or something but just let it just be a light meal if you're in nigeria i don't expect you to start having things like fufu or swallow in in the morning of your exam it's going to make you very heavy and sleepy so just go for like breakfast and i think you'll do fine i know you also may be wondering what resources did i use to prepare for the exam the truth is that there are lots and lots of resources online once you type nmat resources online I, you're going to see tons and tons of them i use some of them but i someone also sent to me like a practice set um which i actually use i think the person sent it to me when i was still in nigeria so because you're watching this video i'm also going to be sharing that with you just check out the description box you're going to see all the details just click on the link and it will take you directly to the practice sets and you can download it and um, print it out and get to practice with it and you can also research online like on google you're also going to see other resources online free resources online basically that was what i really used so the test results is really available 20 cem business days so this basically means 20 center for educational measurement <laughs> business days so basically cem is actually the body that organizes and math so it, the test results will be available 20 business days from the last day of the test um, administration also you'll be sent a link of the e-copy of your results spending when they send the physical copy i actually also got my e-copy before i got the hard copy that's why it's very important to enter a, the correct mailing address because the hard copy of your test result is also going to be mailed to you wait hold on a bit let me just show you what it looks like so this is actually what the test results looks like it's going to be mailed to your address it's going to contain when you open it um you're going to see your results so this is what it looks like okay if you're writing mmat or even if you have friends or family members or anyone you know writing mmat please be kind enough to share this video with them because in the description box i'm going to post in lots and lots of important links that we, you will need to prepare ahead of time for your exam and i think this is a good time for you to click on that subscribe button you know after sharing all this information with you why can't <laughs> why can't you just subscribe anyways please give this video a thumbs up subscribe comment like share and i'll definitely see you in my next video Bye. And I also think this is a good time for you to comment and subscribe and like this video. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching and
Meanwhile, don't you think this is a good time for you to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with everyone you know? 